If you're a landlord and one of your tenants dies, what happens? That's the topic of this video. Hello again, everyone. I'm attorney Robert Flesses. If this is your first time here, you might want to subscribe right now. By subscribing, you can easily find me when you need answers to your legal questions. Well, contracts terminate when one party dies. So in the case of a tenant dying, the lease terminates upon death. So the next question becomes, what do you do with a tenant's personal property? Well, you shouldn't remove everything and trash it. If you do need to quickly remove the tenant's personal property, it's a better practice to temporarily place the property in storage to avoid getting sued. Unless you were contacted by a relative or friend about the death, look at your lease to see if there was an emergency contact person and call them if they don't call you first. Once you communicate with the tenant's friend or relative, make arrangements with them to remove the property. Now, if they can't get the property out within a reasonable time, then you tell them that the property will be placed in storage. Give them a deadline to retrieve the property. Put it in writing and give it to them in person and mail it by certified mail. In some states, there are statutory provisions that you can insert into a lease that you spell out what happens with a tenant vacates before the lease is up. Well, that statutory language may apply when a tenant dies. But most landlords will give the friend or relative a reasonable amount of time to remove the property out of respect for the deceased and the family. I'm attorney Robert Flesses. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.